now critical graph a critical graph is an undirected graph okay so we say that the graph g is critical if all of whose subgraphs right all of whose subgraphs have smaller chromatic number than original graph all of whose subgraphs what is the mean which means the subgraph means the proper subgraphs right so the proper subgraphs of g original graph the proper subgraph original graph have smaller chromatic number right so in such graphs every vertex or edge is a critical element right so in such graphs the critical in such graphs every vertex or edge is a critical element right in the sense that its deletion or oh, what is the deletion which whose deletion the vertex or edge in deletion okay in deletion would decrease the number of colors needed in a graph coloring of the gra given graph right so we will remove the edge or vertex in the original graph then we get the new graph right so new, then we get the new graph by removing vertex or edge right so then then the impact of the removing is uh, the less chromatic number compared to original graph right so with this is called the critical graph such a decrease cannot be by more than one the decrease is cannot be by more at most one right so this is called a critical graph now we consider some example so i consider the cycle tree graph right so here the minimum coloring is three right so at least three colors is needed to this graph right so chi of g is equal to three so and we consider the subgraphs of this graph given graph so the here these three or these subgraphs of the given graph but these two only the proper subgraph g right so we consider the coloring of these two now this two is chi of h1 is equal to 2 and chi of h2 is equal to so this is less than strictly less than 3 so the condition is satisfied so this graph this given graph is called a critical graph right here the critical graph we say that the graph g is critical if high of h strictly less than high of g what is g what is h h means the proper subgraph every proper subgraph h of g right so h is the proper subgraph g right so this is called a critical graph in other words removing any edge or vertex will reduce the number of colors needed so same thing right so this is the critical graph now we consider the another definition so here that a k critical graph so consider the k critical graph what is that so k critical graph is the graph is the graph g right is one that is k chromatic and critical that means the k a k critical graph is how both k chromatic as well as critical right so this is so what is the k chromatic which means uh, we consider the lost examples the given graph cycle 3 okay this graph the minimum coloring of this graph is 3 right so 3 at least 3 colors needed for this graph so we can uh, we represent this time is 3 chromatic so 3 means at least 3 colors needed for this graph this given graph so 3 chromatic we that is called a 3 chromatic graph so considered like this 2 uh, graphs is two chromatics so at least two colors needed for this curve so two means at least two colors needed for this curve so this is so this is the general term of k chromatic so k chromatic means at least k colors needed minimum k colors needed for the given graph right so the critical graph is one or one that is k chromatic as well as critical critical means already we see that so the we removing any edge or vertex will reduce the number of colors needed so these two conditions are satisfy the given graph then the given graph is say that the critical k critical graph right consider the example for the k critical graph right so the given graph check whether the given graph is k critical or not right so first we check the k chromatic so what is k how many number of minimum colors needed to this graph right so first we color the vertices now we color the vertices and get the minimum coloring is 4 right so this graph is called 4 chromatic right so at least 4 colors needed to this graph right so now we next we check the critical right so i consider the proper subgraph of this given graph so here we form the new graph with 
removing this vertex right so removing this vertex now color the vertices and get the minimum coloring of this graph this new graph is 3 so chi of h1 is 3 so 3 chromatic this called 3 chromatic so this is less than 4 right so condition is satisfied now removing the edge randomly here and here the color and this color the vertices here also the chromatic number is other the minimum color in each three so these two conditions these two graphs are satisfy the condition so this two is strictly less than the original graph right so the condition is satisfied now the this this graph is both four chromatic as well as critical right so this graph is called four critical graph right this is an example for the k critical graph